in this video we're going to cover the button click associated with connecting all the dots with lines so our connect button is what we're going to concentrate on so we go to our connect button and we grab the click event which will be tapping or clicking the button and the only thing we want to do really in this is go between each of the X and Y values, right? So X1, Y1, and X2, Y2, and connect them with a line, right? So every line needs two points, and we have a list of all of those items. So we can go through and we can think about how to do that. All right, so when we wanna draw our lines, we're going to have to go through our list, which means we're going to need a loop. In order to go through a loop and go through a list, we need an index value or something to increase from the beginning of the list to the end of the list. So we look at our variables and we can get this initial local name and so that's a different type of variable, but we've seen variables before, and this variable only exists in this block. So our index values we can set to one because we want to start at the beginning of our list. And if we wanna go over every item in our list, then we have to use a loop and since we have parallel lists, x values and y values, we can use the same index to go through both because index one corresponds to the first spot in x and y, they go together. And then index two, x and y two are in the second spot, okay? So we look for our loops which are under control and we've seen for each and while before, and we're going to stick with while this time. So we can kind of control the information that we're looking at. All right? So while test, and this is simply a question we want to ask. When do we want the loop to stop? All right? So in order to ask a question, we can go back and we say, oh, we have a question in our math blocks. We have a question in our logic blocks. What kind of question do we want to ask? Well, with our lists, we want to ask a question about numbers. So we use our math blocks, our question, and usually we involve the index somehow because we're going to be changing the index to move through our list. So we want to say, is the index less than or equal to something? So we usually go all the way to the end of the list. So the end of the list is also the number of items in the list. So we think about a list, and if it has three items, and we ask for the length of that list, it's going to be three items. Right? The number of indices is also 3, 1, 2, and 3. So we can simply say index go until the length of our list. And we say what list? Well we have two to choose from. Does it matter? No, it doesn't because they're both the same size. Parallel lists are by definition the same size. When we add to one, we should add a value to the other. When we delete a value from one, we should delete a value from the other, okay? So we loop until our length of list, and then we think about, okay, now what do we wanna do in this loop? Well, we know for certain that we have to increase our index value. So we can't stay the same, right? So if we don't increase our index value, this will be one, and we'll say, is one less than the length of the list? 
and it'll go through all our blocks, and then it'll say, is one less than the length of the list? So as long as that's true, we're always going to get one over here, and we're always going to get true. And that eventually will cause our app to stop responding because we're in an infinite loop. So the first thing we usually add, which goes on the bottom, most likely, of our while loop at the, at the end, is a set block where we set the index to the index plus one. Right, so we're simply incrementing index by one. Right, we're adding one to the index and storing it back in itself. So this is usually the last thing we do inside of our loop, but we'll add it first just so we don't forget it because it's that important. Okay, then we want to think about, well, what do we really want to do in this loop? Well, we want to draw lines. Okay, so we're supposed to draw lines between two points. Where do we draw lines? We draw lines on the canvas. So we go into our canvas and we look for something to draw lines. Okay, we go through all these procedures and we see, oh, there's a draw line for us. We don't have to even write it. Someone wrote a procedure that we can call that draws a line. And it takes four things. Well, we don't have any x's, but we do have lists with all those values in them. And if we remember, we can get an item from a list by using one of the blocks from the list blocks. So we go through our list blocks and we say, okay, which one of these will get us an item? Well, we could pick a random item, but that doesn't quite make much sense. Right? We want a specific item. We want to select the list item from our list at a specific index. All right? And so our x values contain all the x's. And our y values contains all the y's. OK? So the first spot is going to be our x1, right? And the first spot in y, in our y values, is going to be our y1. Right? So when index is 1, now we're going to get the first spot in each of those lists. So in order to get the second spot, because we need the second point as well to create a line, we want to say, OK, if index is 1 and it gets us our first spot, then when index is 2, it'll get us our second spot. So we can duplicate our select. Remember, we want x for our x values, right? x2, x values. We no longer just want index. We want index plus 1, right? So we need to add 1, right? If index is 1, we want the value 2. And if index is 2, we want the value 3 here, OK? So we get 1 and add 1. Now we have 2. So we're getting the second item from our x values. And then we can do the same thing for our y values. We get the second item from our y values. So now we're drawing a line between the first xy and the second xy. And so we say, OK, well, what color is that line? Well, if we set green up here, it's going to be green. So before we do anything in our loop, let's set it to black so we can distinguish lines from dots. Really easy. OK, so now we have this loop that goes through and draws all these lines. But there's one problem. Let's say we have a list of three items, one, two, and three in the x and 1, 2, and 3 in the y to make it simple, right? When we get to that third item, right, we say, OK, index 3 is less than or equal to 3. That's true. So we go in our loop. And now we're going to draw a line. OK, that's fine. Get the x in the third spot, 3. Get the y in the third spot, 3. Okay, x1, y1 is 3, comma 3. 
now get the x in the third spot plus 1. Wait, that's the fourth spot. We don't have a fourth spot. That's a problem. That's going to crash our program. Okay, so we want to prevent that from happening. So we don't even want to look at the line we want to draw from 3 to 4. So in order to prevent that from happening, there's two possible ways. We can say, oh, we want to stop one before the length of our list. So we could take this and put a math block in and put a subtraction here. Whoa, that's not a subtraction. Put a subtraction. Trying to move things around. All right, so subtraction. We're going to take the length of our list and subtract 1. All right, so that was kind of icky, though. So we're actually, what we really want to do is use some math principles and say, OK, if we want to stop where length of list minus 1, we just want to stop before we get to the end of the list. So instead of including the end of the list, we will exclude it and say only less than. So instead of less than or equals, we want to say only less than. So our index is less than the length of the list. So now when we get to 3, because we had 3 items, 1, 2, and 3, we say 3 is less than 3, and that's false, and we're done. So we never run into the situation where we're trying to get the third item and compare and draw a line to the fourth item. Right? So we prevented that problem. Okay? So this is how we would draw all our lines. So this is the connect button. So in the next video, we're going to talk about the clear lines button or the toggle or delete last button. Right? So we have three buttons to choose from. They're covered in other videos. We might use this code or similar code.